in this tutorial what we're going to do is explain the selection tool which is found up here and there is four modes of this if you hold your left mouse button down you've got tweak box select circle select and of course the lasso select and they've all got their strengths and weaknesses but in this tutorial what we'll do is actually just look at this and we're going to actually explain them as we go along so for this uh, explanation what we're going to do is i'm gonna, just going to duplicate this cube three times g and x just to move it to the left and i'm just going to duplicate it one more time g and x just to move it to the right so we've got our three cubes and what we're going to do is actually first of all we're going to actually look at tweak now tweak is very useful in that it actually selects anything that's underneath the mouse pointer and if we hold our shift button down we can actually select multiple pull select things so if we select these two and just press the g key we can actually move them individually and of course your g and x will actually restrict them in movement and g and y would send them on the uh, green line and of course g and z from top to bottom like that so you can actually select things that are underneath your cursor and shift will highlight them so if we hold shift down we can actually select all three now what we've got here is we've got uh, the the four modes and as a default it sets to this to box select now the tweak select is handy because if you've got a scene that's got lots and lots of items in there you only want to actually select the things that are under your cursor at any one time and you don't want to actually multiple select things by accident because you might be just wanted to move something slightly in your scene just to make it look better or put it in the right place so that's why we use the tweet because it's a finer use of the actual item the next one we've got is box select which is the default in blender and of course this allows you to actually draw a box around the actual items like that which is used for multiple selection but the disadvantage of this of course is that if there's multiple things under your mouse cursor when you actually do the box select you've selected everything so this can be very dangerous in that you you're not actually selecting the actual items you want to select you're selecting things that you may not want to select as well right circle select i quite like because this uses the origin to actually select items and of course pressing the shift key you can actually select multiple items the disadvantage of this is that unlike the tweak if we actually select parts that are not the actual origin then it will not select them it only selects the actual origin and of course shift will actually select multiple items right the lasso effect is the last one is very much like box select but this time it allows you to actually select a lasso around the items just so you can actually do selection like so right the thing about the lasso is it's used by holding the actual left mouse button down and of course it's very dangerous in that it will select everything that is under that lasso so if you add a uh, say a circle in the background that you didn't want to actually select unfortunately the lasso will select it but you only want to actually select these cubes that's why I tend to use the actual tweak select if I want to actually select things individually because it doesn't do it by accident see we can we don't actually select that at the end so all these have their own uses but the actual lasso fil uh, select and the box select are the more dangerous ones to use if you've got a complicated scene and you don't want to actually select lots and lots of things by accident and then put them in the wrong place and then spend the rest of the day just trying to get things back to where they were right of course there's control z which will allow you of course to actually uh, undo certain things like that so if you remember close enough to the actual uh, when the mistake happened then it's not so much a problem but um, if you uh, notice down the line then it becomes a big one
Right, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into edit mode. I'm just going to delete these cues by pressing the X key and deleting. And we're going to go and have a look at this in more detail. So we go into tab mode, um, edit mode using the tab key. And you can do it two ways. You can do it up here by pressing the tab, uh, the edit mode like that. Or you can actually just use the quick key, which is tab to take you in and out of edit mode. Right. So back to tweak. So we've got tweak. We're in edit mode by pressing the tab key. You've got point select, line select and face select. Now you can select these with your mouse, but you can also press one, two or three on your keyboard which will take you into the different modes. One, of course, is point select. And if we actually put this to tweak, we can actually just select points and it just selects the point that's quite close to your item. So it's, it's quite easy to use. And if, of course, we wanted to actually select two points, in effect, hold the shift button down, select two points. So we've got those two points selected. So as you can see, the line is highlighted there between them. And if we were to E and Z extrude in the Z direction, we've made our simple chair. Control Z, well, sort of. And same for the actual box select. Bit harder to use because if we actually use the box select on point select, then it works quite well on there. But if you actually put this third point in there and we E and Z, as you can see, We've made ourselves a throne, but, uh, you know, you might not want this point to be selected. So a little bit more dangerous, like I said, because it actually selects any points that are under the 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 box select. Also on line select, this actually selects multiple lines. So if we put that, this over all four, then we'll actually select that face. And if we were to e extrude this in the Z direction, as you can see, it extrudes the full face and E and Z just makes us chair again. And lastly, we've got face select, which of course will actually select a face. A bit more dangerous in that uh, it's selected all these faces on the edge. It selects any part of a face that's actually under the, the square. So it's not very intuitive. And it uh, makes things a bit awkward to select, unlike the uh, tweak. Right, the circle select is very handy for this kind of thing. And we'll keep in the face select. As you can see, we can actually select multiple faces very easy with the actual circle select. And of course, holding the shift key down would actually select opposite faces in this case. Oh, we could actually select this face again. Keeping the shift key held down and selecting again doesn't deselect this time and you have to sometimes start again. As you can see, it doesn't actually deselect this. But it's quite easy to actually use and is handy for if you want to actually select faces and it works exactly the same if you actually want to select the line, E and Z, and we've got our chair again. And of course, point select under the circle only selects the points that you want to select and holding shift button down will actually select multiple points like so until I've got of course you've got the old face selected and lastly we've got the lasso effect and as it did before the lasso under point select will select single points underline will actually select single lines or multiple lines, depending on what points you cover with your lasso. Like that. A bit more dangerous, but as you can see, it's selecting them. And if A, E, and Z, extrude and Z, we've got our shape that we saw earlier on in the tutorial. Thank you for watching me on this tutorial. And if you found it useful, consider subscribing. Bye for now.